My name is Joe Hello, and we are in, let's see, Oakland, and we're ready to do a show. We're going to kick the shit out of it. Um, and we got Burl in the building. I'm going to show Will how I utilize the mothership B16, which I love because I press a button and it runs through transformers that are audibly known to make it way better. Um, and it just gives it an extra edge. How I use it is um, I take, I route it in multi-rack and I use the sound grid to route the channels I want to go from digital to analog and analog to digital. So out of the 64 channels, um, I can take four of those channels and run them through my analog hardware and the A to D, D to A is impeccable. And also the gain on a line level signal, I'm able to actually gain it up for the first time ever without hearing a total chaos with uh, impedance. But I actually do it without compromise and I love it because I can get a bigger, fatter sound that as it gets higher, it actually saturates it and makes it better because it feels analog. Um, but that's, that's my story. Okay, so I've been touring with this show for two years and I've done a lot of signal chain augmentations and we've got it to a very, very good level. Um, it's a very powerful show as is. And when I introduced the Burl on not only his mic pre, but also my A to D and D to A, it went up even after we called it a perfect show, we went beyond perfect and now we're running at 110% as opposed to 100% amazing show. It's 110 because of Burl and um, the, brain, the brains behind this whole infrastructure. Um, so I love that. We keep going higher. How do we set the bar higher? We push it to, push it to the limit and work with guys like Earl and Will, and um, you know, we make our, our chain super strong. That's what we specialize in. We push the envelope. People are scared to kind of bring a lot of studio stuff to the outside world and expensive gear that um, some may see it as a, a hard investment, but we're competing against ourselves and we want to be the best and we want to use the best. So that's why we're here. So. The B1 mic pre is so godly, I don't want to do without. I've heard a lot of preamps. I've, I've grown up on the Quad 8 preamp, which in my opinion was um, the greatest preamp built um, because it was Super, Super Tramp, Karen Carpenter, Tom Petty, all those warm albums that we loved. That was the preamp behind it. And, when my father started one of the first studios in Canada in 1970, he bought a and Studios, their console, that Quad 8. And that's what I was raised on. So I was raised around warm and just still had the top end, but it was very warm. Um, Transformers, VCA cards, and 1176 Transformers. You know, we had all those toys. And what Brill has done with their pre um, <laughs> on our front end, it just kicks, it kicks it up a notch in my life. It, it, my ears hear it and it's like everything that I want, everything I grew up with. I don't want to compare, but it feels like home and we can, we can utilize it. We, we don't want to do without it. We don't want to do a show without it. That's how good they are. Um, it's easy to use the console pre's. Of course it is. Building the redundancies, it's extra work, but if it wasn't worth it, then we wouldn't be doing it and it is way worth it. I love you.